Hi, this is Dawn, and today I'm here to show you how you can cut multiple of the same image on your mat. So if you want to fill up your whole mat with the same image. So let's say I have this triangle here, and I want to get as many of them as I possibly can on my mat. So I have one triangle. I'm going to go ahead and say make it. And now up here in the upper left corner, you can see where it says project copies. You can um, just keep increasing the number and hit apply and we'll keep adding them. Um, I usually just kind of guess about how many will go across and how many will go down. I happened to try this one a few times, so I know that 25 will fit on here. And when I get 25, I have a little space down here, but not enough for another row. If I do 30, it ends up going on to another mat. And then I have a little bit of wiggle room here on the edge. So I can go ahead and do this. I can get 25 triangles out of it. But as you know, we look at it, we have all this wasted space right here where, look, it would fit another triangle. So I'm going to show you a second technique on how to get even more. So we'll go ahead and hit cancel for our cut. And then we have one triangle, so we're going to duplicate it four times so that we have a total of five triangles. And then I'm going to take one of them and kind of move it way over here. Then I'm going to click and drag so that I select all five of them. And I'm going to go up here to the Align menu and align the bottoms. That makes them all lined up together. And then I'm going to go back to the Align menu and say Distribute Horizontally. And I did pretty good. I've got just a little bit of space between them. I could make it a little bit closer. So if I take my last one and just scooch it in a little bit, and repeat that process, I can get them a little bit closer together. So I'll align the bottom just in case I moved it a little bit and then distribute horizontally. And there we have it. So we have all five of them and I'm going to go ahead and attach them. And then let's say make it, let's make sure they fit on our mat and they do, so we're good. So I'm gonna hit cancel. Now I'm going to uh, duplicate them I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees so that they'll be upside down. And now I can fit them right in here. But I know that that will make it too long. See, if, we, if you look up here, it's 11.3 inches plus this part right here. So it's going to be too long for the mat. So I'm going to go ahead and detach and just take this last one and delete it. Now I'll take my mouse and select all of them attach them together and then say make it and look I've got a whole row of them so now I have got two four six eight nine of them on it so I, you can tell I just lost internet but it's oh, cool because the new program I can still keep on working so now I'm gonna say I want five rows of this so I'll change this to five apply and there we go. Now I've got five times eight, 40. So I went from 25 triangles to 40 triangles. So those are a couple of tips of how you can fill up the page with an image and use your product more wisely, get more bang for your buck. 